Sea Pirates! Uh, mm, uh, look! Mm, look out there! What is it? What are you talking about, matey? Sharks! Oh, <laughs> oh don't be silly, you landlubber. Those be dolphins. Oh, oh, my God. God. Of course not. But what if he doesn't make it back to the mainland? 
Well, then he'll be fish food and you'll be slaves. Oh, I can see that you all have no heart. Well, actually, that's not a fair statement. Let me go uh, or I'll give you the flogging of your life. You better save some of your energy, lad. You folks need it. I'll never tire of my little ease, Rose. <laughs> Bring the boy over here. Now, enough of this nonsense, boy. That's better. We got a job for you to do. Ain't doing nothing for you. Oh, I think you will, lad. Remember, the alternative ain't very pleasant. Boy, you do as you're asked. Quit causing trouble. Or I'll give you the flogging of your life. Take this note and deliver it to the bridge. I won't do it. Me patience is growing thin with you, boy. Ooh, it is obvious that you have no experience with youths. Listen, young man, I want you to do just as Captain Gree has told you. Take this note and deliver it to any British military commander. But tell them not to pay the ransom. Instead, tell them to send the British fleet. Oh, you will be my hero if you What are you telling him? accomplishing this task is very small, you know. He isn't the brightest star in the sky. Your fate is in his hands, so you better start thinking brighter thoughts about his success. <laughs> well, what do you do now, Captain? I mean, now that we've sent the boy off, we don't know when he's going to come back. We wait! How long do you think I'll take him? We'll give him 30 days to return. It's almost a full moon tonight. We'll wait until the next full moon for him to return with the rent. Or else. Um, I hate to ask, but or else what? Or else we be the shark. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Sometimes, 
Most of the time, we just sit around, waiting for another ship to go by. When we can take a course like this one, you must have a really nice life with all the money and power your family's got. Being the nephew of a rich and powerful uncle isn't easy. Everyone expects me to be just like him, but I'm not. I don't think I ever will be. I just wish people would stop forcing me into something that I'm not. Well, that's a lot to say, considering you're wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even with me wearing this dress, I still feel like you're the only one that understands me. Well, I know what it's like not to live up to people's expectations. Why do you think I became a pirate? <laughs> I guess we're not that different after all. Well, you better go. Someone will be here to take over for me soon, and I don't want him to catch us together. <clears throat> will I get to see you again? If I have my way, you will. Now go before someone sees you and tries to throw you overboard. Right up. <laughs> I love the moonlight. <sighs>
<laughs> Look how much longer are we going to be sitting here? Aren't you having fun? Fun? I've had root canals that are more fun than this. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know what you mean. The pirate life is so invigorating. Oh, yeah, I'd say nothing yet, sweet kids. I must admit, I'm not eager for our time together to come to an end. I can really get having you roasted in your chores, too, Swab Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost want to stay here another month, too, if it wasn't for the horrible food. Yeah. Hey! Heard a man of camp, we're Nobody can garnish a rat better than you should. <laughs> All right, mateys, the wait's about over. Did you see that full moon last night? Well, one way or another, we're going to see some action today. Oh, I don't want to hurt anyone. Maybe we can wait another month? Nay! Another month of this would be the death of me. It's the British fleet. The British fleet's off the starboard side. <laughs> No! The starboard side! Oh. <laughs> it's a British fleet, all right. It looks like two scoops. Oh, I'm free! And, and now, Captain Jennings, we shall see what real men can do. The wind is calm. It will take them some time before they board us. Captain, what do we do now? Yes, Captain. What do you do now? <laughs> we, we can't be, we can't be caught by the British. We're, we're one in men. We'll be hanged for sure. I have an idea. Uh, Captain Brick, me mates and I want to join you and your pirates. You want to join us? We don't have anything to lose. We are one in men. We ought to help you fight the British. Please, Captain Brick, we will follow you like we did with our other captain. What's the crime the British wants you for? Mutiny. <laughs> That's a comforting thought. But Captain, they do sound sincere. And we ain't in quite a position to be turning away an offer of help. Oh, all right. But you defy me and it's the plague for you. Keep an eye on them, mateys. You can never trust a man. Jake, take the others back to our old ship and prepare to sail. We can't outrun ships like that. And even with the man's help, we don't stand a chance in a battle against the Royal Navy. Hey, I thought pirates were supposed to be brave and fight against all odds and fear nothing. Well, like I told you before, Lassie, we pirates be brave, not stupid. <laughs> We've got to try and outsmart them. Out the heart of British fleet? How do you propose we do that? Do as I said and go back to our ship and prepare to sail! Come on! Captain's orders! Madam Prescott, I want to make a deal with you. You want to make a deal with me? I want you to save me, crew. Uh, you want me? To save your crew. <laughs> I will do no such thing. The British will capture you and you will all be hanged. And I shall be there to watch. You know, we could have you thrown overboard before the British have a board. Well, go ahead. At least I know you and your scoundrels will be right behind me. The only pleasure I will miss will be seeing you hanging from the mast. If you let me crew go, I will stay here and surrender to the British. That way, your life will be spared, and you'll have the pleasure of seeing me hang. Well, that is a deal. Now let me see. If I let your comrades go... And stop the British from pursuing them. And stop the British from pursuing them, you will stay here and surrender? I. Seeing you hang would give me great pleasure. The ladies' lives are important to me. Can I trust your word? Do you have a choice? No. It was you who offered this deal, Captain Ree, and I am agreeing to it. What about you? I accept. Thank you. What does one wear to a hanging? <laughs> I'll have to see 
but I have. <laughs> what are you planning to do, Captain Breed? The British will soon be here. Made a deal with Prescott. A deal? Aye, I will stay here and surrender to the British in exchange for me lady pirates being allowed to sail away unharmed. And you agreed to that? Aye, I'm the one who proposed it. Well, that's very noble of you, but have you told them? I believe their loyalty to you is greater than you estimate. I understand what you're saying. Now, we'll tell them when the time is right. But until then, promise me you won't reveal my plan. Captain Bree, I, I can't make that promise. But you must. Don't you see? The ladies are like my family. I can't let them all be hurt. They were counting on me. I let them down. Besides, if the British catch all of us, then we'll all be happy. This way, only one will give her life for all the rest. Me. Tell me you understand. Promise me you won't tell them. Please. Tell me, Captain Bree, what is your given name? Mm -hmm. Brianna. Why, wow, that's a lovely name. Promise me you won't tell them. Okay, I promise, Brianna. You were an honorable man, Captain. If only you and I had met under different circumstances.
save her through? Well, that is one promise I do not intend to keep. Has the fleet arrived? <coughs> no, Madam Prescott. But is it true that you've made a deal with Captain Breed? Her head for the lives of her crew? Yes, it's true. I, for one, will enjoy seeing her swing. Well, I must object to this barbaric deal. Barbaric? Why, it's Captain Breed and her crew who are barbaric. After all, Captain Jennings, you were unable to do anything about these pirates. Yes, you left me no choice but to act myself. And once the British government gets my report, I am sure that you will no longer be captain of this ship or any other ship ever again. <laughs> With my astute perception of human nature, I believe you have some feelings for this Captain Breed. Hmm. I guess we will know when we watch her hang. <laughs> contact me when the fleet arrives. Oh, yes, do contact us when the fleet arrives. <laughs> You're still aboard. I, I thought you had left for your ship. We can't leave Captain Breed behind. Where is she? Oh, she's below deck. But we must hurry. She's made a deal with Madame Prescott. Her life for all of your lives. Well, we won't play our hair. She's our captain. She's given me a chance in a new life. I'm prepared to fight for her. Yeah. Well, I'll die fighting for her. Well, hopefully we'll do the fight. They'll do the dying. After all, that's what pirates do, you know. The fight, not the dying. At least what you hope will happen. Maybe no one will die. I have a plan. A plan? What is it? Your ship is ready to sail, right? Right. And so it will. But we can't just sail away. I mean, if we sailed away, we'd be leaving Captain Reed. And we all just agreed that we weren't going to Shut up, Gabby! <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got much time. We need to listen to Captain Jennings. OK, so your ship will sail, but not with you aboard. Now hurry, we don't have much time. I will explain the rest later. For now. Go down below deck and take Madame Prescott and dress her as she looks like a pirate. The same with Bidwell. We don't want either of them on board when the pirate, or excuse me, when the British arrive. Man, <coughs> yesterday you were my prisoners. Today I ask you for your help. Sorry, Captain. Our leaders now to Captain Green. Who's about to be hanged if we don't hurt? Are you prepared to fight the British? For me, it's always a fight with the British. And for me, it's better than a noose around my neck. Good! Then prepare for battle! <coughs> What's going on? I told you all to turn our ship! We had no intentions of letting the British hang you, even if it is to save our lives! You promised you wouldn't tell! You can never trust.